Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Next week, as two Coronation Street residents approach Joel Deering to learn more about his involvement in Lauren Bolton's Kate Fitton trauma, Joel makes a grave mistake. Lauren was attacked by Joel in February, and it was confirmed this week that she is, in fact, still alive. Despite living in hardship, she returned to Weederfield to visit Roy following his heart attack. Then Joel was seen approaching Lauren, we discovered during the ensuing altercation that the solicitor had been controlling her from their initial meeting in September of last year. Lauren would have visits from Joel on a regular basis, during which he would regale her with wine and give her money to buy food and energy for the winter. But as their friendship grew, Joel finally coerced Lauren into entering a poisonous union. Michael and Ronnie, Vinta Morgan, offered to assist Joel in moving a chest of drawers from his previous apartment into DD's in upcoming episodes of the ITV soap opera. Joel gives Lauren money and tells her to buy some stuff for their new kid in order to get her out of the apartment. Michael and Ronnie show up and prepare to assist Joel, but the wicked man becomes suspicious when Ronnie notices that the fridge is filled with ready-to-eat meals for one. Despite the fact that we know Joel has been at DT's, this inexperienced mistake demonstrates that someone has been residing in Joel's apartment. How is Joel going to react to this? Callum Lil thought, one thing we definitely know from this is that he is very selfish. He prioritizes his own self-interest over all other considerations and lacks the empathy that ordinary people seem to possess. Therefore, I believe we haven't seen the worst of him yet when you combine them all. And who can predict where that will end up? When asked how long this plot would last, he replied, I obviously can't say, but my ideal one would be drag it out as long as possible because it's such a nice place to work and everyone's so amazing. I would therefore want to take my time, whatever it may be, and spend more time with wonderful individuals. Everyone involved, both in front of and behind the camera, has been amazing. Naturally, I'm unable to say that I have no idea how it ends, but I'm okay with them taking as long as they want. Next week, Coronation Street will captivate viewers with a slew of shocking revelations. Fans will be thrilled to learn that three returns will hit the cobbles, according to spoilers for next week. Next week, when Lauren Bolton is reported missing to the police, followers will be worried about her in other places. Additionally, in Waiterfield, Carla Connor is confused by the news about Rover's return in, which suggests that Daisy Midgley and Jenny Connor's demise may be imminent next week. The main events on Corey for the upcoming week are listed below. Next week, Coronation Street will make three appearances, which is guaranteed to excite fans. Fans of the soap opera will remember that Ryan Connor, a character, moved to Glasgow last year to start a new life with Crystal, his love interest, following the revelation of his affair with Daisy Midgley, which led to a confrontation with her partner Daniel Osborne. Since then, Daisy and Daniel have broken up, and Daniel has gotten back together with Bethany Platt, Ryan's ex. But in later sequences, Ryan will make a reappearance that leaves Daisy speechless. Next week's spoilers state that Daisy gets into a heated argument with her ex-boyfriend, Daniel, and his current girlfriend, Bethany. Fans of the soap opera will remember that Bethany was recently caught for pinning a piece on the romantic triangle involving Daniel, Daisy, and Ryan. Despite Chit Chat Magazine's refusal to remove it, Daisy will also find out about the incriminating piece the next week. Before the shocking revelation, Daisy confides in Glinda Shuttleworth that she still feels something for Daniel and hopes that they will be able to reconcile. Later, as Rita Tanner's birthday celebration at the Rovers gets underway, Mary Taylor receives a message that she unintentionally sends to everyone in the bar. Daisy reads, I had a turret affair with my acid attack hero and is taken aback. 
Daisy doesn't want to hear Daniel's apology later in the week and instead files a complaint with Chit Chat Magazine, even though Daniel apologizes for not alerting her about the story. Things deteriorate rapidly as a furious Bethany finds out that her dismissal was due to Daisy's complaint. Afterwards, Daisy is confronted by Bethany, who charges her with ruining her career. Soon after, Daniel becomes involved in the argument. As things grow more heated, Daisy tells Daniel that Lauren Bolton, Daniel's student, has been blackmailing her and Ryan about their relationship and that Daniel was only requested to tutor her in order to put more pressure on them. Daniel is shocked to learn of this. Later, Daisy pouts at home, but Ginny soon lets it be known that she has a guest, and the character is shocked to meet Ryan. Nevertheless, it has been disclosed that Fizz and Tyrone Dobbs will also be making a comeback. As fans of the soap opera will remember, Fizz moved to Norwich last year and hasn't appeared on screen since May. In real life, 39-year-old actress Ginny Fair welcomed her third child, a sweet baby girl named Doris, in April 2023 after taking a maternity vacation with her husband, Chris Fair. Tyrone, meantime, abandoned the cobbles earlier this year to accompany his wife, Fizz, as she participated in a course in Italy. Actor Alan Halsall underwent reconstructive surgery on his ACL ligament in real life, and it was announced last year that he would be taking a brief leave of absence from Corey to have the significant knee surgery. When Lauren Bolton is reported missing to the police next week, Coronation Street fans will be worried. Lauren has talked about a wealthy mystery boyfriend on the popular ITV soap opera that airs on Virgin Media in Ireland, but she broke up with him earlier this year. On Valentine's Day, though, Fans witnessed a man arrive to see her in a recent program, but they are unsure of his identity. When it was revealed in the following episode that Lauren had bruises on her body and that this man was extremely dangerous, things took an even more alarming turn. Fans of the soap opera will remember that Lauren came to Weatherfield in 2022 after assisting in Max Turner's recruitment to an extreme far-right gang. At first, Max showed interest in Lauren, but their relationship quickly cooled off once it became clear what the group's true intentions were. Her father was one of the group's leaders, and she and Max had been forced into it all. After that, Lauren made an effort to change her ways and obtained employment at Roy's Rolls, but she quickly turned back to crime by using money to blackmail Daisy Mitchley and Ryan Connor on their relationship. Additionally, last year, Ryan reported the young person out of duty and was shocked to discover that Lauren had been posting content on Ovids in an attempt to raise money. This week's episodes feature newcomer Bobby telling Lauren that he's concerned about her because he's aware of her Ovids films. Bobby, however, is irritated when Lauren becomes silent in response to the shocking revelation. Lauren tells Bethany Platt that she's broke and offers to write an essay on how she was indoctrinated by a far-right organization to submit to a magazine in an attempt to get money. The situation deteriorates further when a distressed Bobby phones the cafe in search of Lauren and becomes even more alarmed upon learning that Roy fired her. Later, when Lauren's wages are delivered by Roy to her apartment, the young girl tells Roy that she intends to move out of Weatherfield and start over. Soon after arriving at Lauren's apartment, a nervous Bobby finds the door unlocked and chooses to let himself in. Bobby texts Lauren, nevertheless, and leaves, making sure to lock the door behind him, as Lauren is nowhere to be found. Later, a frightened Bobby confides in Max his worries regarding Lauren, telling him how he discovered her apartment door unlocked but that she was nowhere to be found. And in the episodes that air the following week, Bobby reports Lauren missing to the police station after returning a call to her apartment and discovering that no one is there, with PC Craig Tinker promising to look into the matter. Carla Connor is confused about the rivers' return in news, which suggests that Daisy Midgley and Jenny Connor's demise on Coronation Street may be drawing closer next week. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. 
So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.